Cheer everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is officially the day that I'm finally getting this thing fixed. I'm just stuck in at a mate's cafe here in Brizzy that you've probably seen on a few vlogs before. The house, if you're in Brizzy, come check it out. I've been fasting from about 7.30 this morning. Didn't even have breakfast, I wasn't keen on breakfast and now I'm real hungry, so I wish I did. But yeah, not too nervous origins tonight, which is why I'm wearing this. Nah, I just wore it in here to stir up the cafe a little bit. I actually don't really go for anyone, I just kind of support the boys that I know and that's about it. I don't know if I'm actually going to be staying the night or not, so I'm going to find that out when I get there. Jess is dropping me off, so hopefully I get to stay the night, because in that way she's got to go back down the coast, pick Jayla up from school, come back up to Brisbane, pick me up, drive all the way back down because I won't be able to drive. Um, but yeah, I think she wants me home anyway. We'll see how we go when we get there. The man himself. What's up, baby? What are you doing? What are you wearing that for? What are you wearing that for? True blues, baby. True blues. Blues all day. Are you sweet? Came to the cafe here at the house. Um, long time supporter was here and he just so happened to have one of my t-shirts on. There it is right there, let's go. True media. <laughs> Nelson. One of the OGs. That's when you know you're an OG supporter when you got one of these t-shirts. Because they're the first ones that I sold. I don't even reckon Sammy's got one. Sammy, <laughs> do you have one of these? Oh, are you wearing that today? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Where's yours, Sam? I mean, what are you vlogging? Just yeah, your day. My, my nose surgery. Bro, you're gonna go from a solid seven out of ten to a seven and a half out of ten after this nose surgery. Hundred percent gonna be a ten out of ten. I'll be eleven out of ten after this. A what? Eleven out of ten. Eleven. After this, because I'm already a ten. <laughs> Another real cool thing about this cafe is that there's like a pay it forward wall. So all these magnets are people that have bought coffees for someone else or food or coffee and food so if you're having a tough day and you need a free coffee you come in here take one of these magnets off the wall take it off free coffee free food or if you're feeling generous come in and you can shout someone a coffee or some food pretty cool if you want to make someone's day then come into the house shout someone a coffee hi daddy a cookie it's a Just got my blood pressure done. Was it good? Yeah, it's good. Good blood pressure. So, what's what's next? What are we doing next? We're going to get changed. Going to get changed. Put all the nice clothes on. I'm pretty lucky. Yeah. Lucky. Let's do it. Waiting, so trying to sneak in a bit of work. Right, uh, just got transferred up to my ward. Been here for about half an hour, but yeah, look like should I have something to eat, and then um, yeah, I just took some painkillers, so I'll probably doze off again soon. Got a bit of work I need done, so. I might try to smash that up before these painkillers set in. Origin all done. New South Wales pub, Queensland. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling pretty good. I want to get up and go toilet soon. So, see how we go. I'm starving, but they won't go to get my Uber Eats, so I don't think I'll order anything. The hardest things is got like I just want to blow my nose, but I can't. I'm not allowed. But yeah, I'm gonna get up and try to get to the toilet. Let's see how we go. That's good. Thank you. Sorry for 
very good thanks. Thank you for your patience. Sure. Just had uh, some brekkie and some eggs. I needed to eat something before I had some um, some antibiotics. Just needed food in the belly, but not feeling too bad. Painkillers earlier helped. See the surgeon just before. He said that he had to break it in three places because it was it was so bent. He had to break it in three places to make it straight again and then they realigned the whatever it's called Jess is picking me up at about 10 ish it's 8 30 now um get this thing out of my arm and then go have a shower but yeah not feeling too bad i think it's that painkillers that are that are helping me to be honest outfit though I just want to see what it's going to look like, but I won't be getting these off for a while. I'm quite swollen. And my eyes are sh Right, just seen the pharmacist and got all my meds to take home, so just getting ready, just as nearly here. <laughs> um, sort of like Hannibal Lecter of, <laughs> of what's it called? You know, Silence of the Lambs. Why? I'm going to leave it on. Okay, I kind of need you to... I got my nose fixed. Judy, come up here. Ah, sore. Okay. Have you sneezed or anything yet? Nah, I haven't sneezed. Fuck, I'm nervous as. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's the worst one. What's up guys, it is Sunday, I haven't vlogged in a couple of days. Just been a bit under the weather. Haven't been too bad actually, it's just annoying. My whole face is swollen though, like from here down. Hasn't been going too bad. Sorry, Jaxie's just in the background over here. But yeah, apart from that, it's just like embarrassing to go out in public. Everyone just stares at you and just like, you know, you're just like, what are they thinking of me right now? What do they think of me? Do they think I'm like a scrapper and I just got into a fight on the street and ended up with this? If I could compare it to anything, I'd compare it to like, Real bad flu, but at least with like the flu, you can blow your nose. And, and like, you know, when you gotta pop your ears and you hold your nose and pop your ears that way, I haven't been able to do that, so my ears have been getting like a little bit sore. I've been snoring and I never snore, <laughs> just as laughing. I never snore before the surgery, so I'm hoping it doesn't like start something because I was quite a sleeper and I was quite proud of that because usually dudes with big noses are like. <laughs> This is what it's like to vlog with family guys, family free. And you wouldn't believe you just set that toy off, that was Jess. Oh. Can I vlog in here please? Can I vlog? <laughs> Can I quickly give the people an update? Is it okay with you? <laughs> you? And you guys, is it okay? What was I talking about? I was snoring, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't start something. I don't want to be like a snorer now. I was a lighter sleeper as well. So hopefully that might have changed that. I might have changed that and I turned into a real deep sleeper. Just as shaking her head. But yeah, I'll try to keep updating you guys as this journey goes along and take you guys to my appointment next week. So yeah, I probably won't vlog until the meeting next Wednesday because there's not really much in between that I have to do. So see you guys on Wednesday. So Jude and I woke up early and we were heading to Brisbane. Um, and then got the text on the way that the appointment had been cancelled, so been rescheduled, which isn't the greatest. But Jude and I stopped for coffee, and now we get to go home and take Jella to school so they don't have to walk in this freezing ass weather. Ah, oh, that's so good. 
so I'll see you guys when the appointment's rescheduled. Um, hopefully it's not too far away. Really wanted to get those splints out today and hopefully I was going to be able to breathe a bit better, but it's going to have to be another day now. That's all right. Guys, I stuffed up. I, um, this bow is like the, like, blood is like really pissing me off in my nose so I started picking some I picked this one piece of like blood off got closer but it was a stitch idiot Jerron it is Friday I've just arrived to Brisbane for my surgery appointment as you guys know it got cancelled on um, Wednesday uh, but we're meant to be getting the splints out today, which is what I think is happening today. Um, hopefully I can get a new cast because this one's going a bit funny. And the dressings underneath have gone a bit funny as well and it's starting to peel off a little bit. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Take you guys with me. Hopefully film as much as I can. Film them taking the stuff out so you guys can see everything. Another thing that I'm keen for is to see when I can start training and do all that type of stuff. Still got stitches up my nose, so obviously I can't do too much to get those wet, but uh, pay for my parking. But yeah, uh, it's been a, like a week and a bit since I last trained, so I'll get the clearance on all that type of stuff as well, so get back in the gym. Sun feel like a mess. How oh, good. So much easier these days just using an app, scanning in, not having to like search through your car for coins. They probably take a little bit more money these days before the extras on top of it, but yeah, so much easier. I just got told some good news. I'm getting the cast off today as well, which is exciting. Just made my day. I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. There we go. Oh. oh well how done. How good. Alright, we better get your cast off now, hey? I've just walked out of my appointment. I'm just about to walk in the elevator, so about to see it for the first time. Oh, I'm a bit nervous, a bit nervous. All right, check. I feel like it's still crooked. Is it me or is it still crooked? It's definitely a lot straighter. Still swollen ass, but heaps better. Heaps better. Hopefully that's just the swelling. My gosh, the breathing is on another level. I breathe so much better. It's weird. It's not fully straight, which is a bit guttering, but I can breathe again fully, which is unreal. It's definitely not 100% straight, eh? Ah! But the breathing, holy sh crazy though, crazy. Oh. Still swollen as though. I'm a bit gutted because last night I took due to the Broncos game. And this appointment today was meant to be on Wednesday. So I would have gone to the game with no cast on. And last night I just literally had my hood on and I was trying to hide my face the whole time. Can't wait to see Jess's reaction. I'm not gonna um, send her a photo or anything. I texted her before, told her that the cast is off. But I don't wanna, I, I wanna record her reaction when I get home. I nearly forgot. This is the one test I wanted to do as soon as I got this fixed. Look at that. They're sitting straight on there. Not like this. <laughs> They're sitting straight on there, baby. Let's go. Huh. <laughs> Let's go. See. <laughs> ready? Look, you ready? Reveal his new nose. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Okay. Wait, are you on camera? 
Really? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so different. <laughs> it's a little bit swollen. Yeah, swollen. Yeah, so much bigger though. So much better. Breathing's so crazy. Much, it's not even that swollen, is it? The breathing oh is god. like so much better. Look, Daddy's nose. Ah! Look, it's a dad. He's just like, look at that camera. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. Hi. Look at Dad. Look. Dad. 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 Daddy. Dad. So it's been roughly. How long has it been? Yep, the 9th of June was when I had my surgery. It's currently the 20th of July, so it's been about... This is why you plan before you start shooting. One, two, three, four, five. So it'll be exactly six weeks tomorrow since my nose surgery. And I wanted to film this kind of now, once all the swelling had fully gone, because it does take a while for it to fully be gone. So yeah, this is my new nose. So one thing I can say is that the breathing is so much better. It's a bit hard to kind of judge how it's helping my fitness because I haven't been training as much as I used to. So it'd be cool to kind of get back to the level of fitness that I was at over the last like 10 years playing professional football and see kind of the differences between the breathing and that. It's hard because when I get tired, I just breathe automatically through my mouth that you know, my body's kind of just learnt over the last 10 years of breathing with a nose that doesn't really work. <sighs> See before I had the surgery if I did a big nose breath like that I'd kind of be limited like I'd get to a certain point where I'm like I can't breathe anymore. So I thought I'd shoot this now to let the swelling go down but I'm also planning on playing this weekend so I'm a bit nervous that it's going to cop a knock and just be like back to how it was. But I'm sure it'll be right. I've given it a lot of time to heal. And I've taken the surgeon's recommendations on how long to wait to be able to play again. So it's obviously not gonna be indestructible, but I'm excited to get back out on the footy field. I missed it, get a ball in my hands. First week back training last week, and bloody loved it. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Another surgery vlog, hopefully it's my last if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'm going to try and up my YouTube game. And in case we go into lockdown, I've got a massive list of things that I want to shoot for my YouTube channel. There's a lot of tutorials on filming, all that type of stuff. But yeah, let's get back to footy. As always.